I'd like you to close your eyes. And if you're standing, close your eyes. And Richie, no peeking here, okay? No peeking. And I want you to think of special memories or maybe moments in time that each one of you've had yourself, okay? So just think about that. Maybe it was an extraordinary event in your life that occurred. Could have been a marriage, the birth of a child, maybe the birth of a grandchild, or maybe you almost lost your life partner. And that person, she beat all the odds and rejoined us weeks after she had left us. Hey, these are real events I just talked to you about. You can open your eyes. These are real moments in time for many of us in the room today. And my point is that these moments in time are special. And now I want to welcome you to my special moment in time. Dear Ryan, six years ago, I only hoped that we were embarking on an incredible journey that would last forever. I always knew in my heart that you were the loving man that would one day be waiting for me at the altar. I prayed that I would find a man who challenged me, a man who could make me laugh, and a man who even after all these years could still give me butterflies. I never in a million years thought God would grant me a man who is all of those things and so much more. You remind me every day to dream bigger, to work harder, and to open my heart to all of the possibilities of this beautiful life. I love your sense of humor, your selflessness, and the way you are able to calm me down. I absolutely adore your crystal blue eyes and the way I fit in your arms and the way that you look at yourself in the mirror. I love that over the past six years I've never faced life's challenges without you by my side. Even on days when I struggled or when our future seemed uncertain, you have surprised me with your willingness to do whatever it took to make it work. Over the years we have grown up, but we've never grown apart. Brian, you are the reason I am who I am today. You have shown me what it means to live and love and to give my heart fully and to wake up every morning with the hope of helping others. You are my soulmate, my best friend, my other half, and the piece of my heart that I never knew was missing. Today is the day we will reminisce about as we grow old together. With grace and wisdom, I know I will look back on this day as the beginning of an incredible journey. I promise to be your best friend, your secret keeper, and the emotional mess that you have come to love over the years. You are my everything, and I cannot wait to call you my husband. With love, and the promise of a lifetime together, your future wife, the almost Mrs. Winters. This could be the moment we've been waiting for, the chance to feel alive. Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna talk this, nothing like we've ever seen. what brought you to this point. Why are we here? You know, never forget the point of this. What, it's, it's all about, it's about you two. It's about this connection that none of us really understand, but you feel it, you know it. I know he knows it, trust me. I've had many a late night conversation with Rye talking about it. Through the, so through the trials and tribulations, never forget all these people. They're everywhere. They're all here to support you. It's all about unconditional love, mutual respect, and I would add my own, meet each other more than halfway. I mean that. Meet each other more than halfway, and it makes a huge difference on where you're gonna be at in your life. This is where it all begins.
perfect balance for one another. And I hope that you know that everyone in this room will always be cheering for you. One last thing on this wonderful date of 11-11, which as people say, 11-11 make a wish, I do have a wish for you both. May your pleasures be doubled and your troubles divided and your married life filled with the right ingredients. Faith, trust, humor, passion, romance, understanding, and a timeless love. Cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Winters. <laughs>